Welcome to Summoner's Rift. This is my intro, but I realized my mic wasn't on. So anyway, welcome guys. Um, today we're playing Echo for this game. I'm going to be doing an Echo gameplay guide, showing you guys what I think is the best build and specifically the best build for this game. But I think Echo's builds don't vary too much at the moment. Um, as always, you'll be able to check out the runes and that kind of stuff in the comment section. Okay, flash already. Uh, what am I saying? Runes in the comment section? No, runes will always be at the end of the video. I don't mean. Um, what do I need to say? What do I need to think about? Not much. Obviously, if you guys like the video, make sure to, uh, you know, like. And if you want to see more of them, subscribe. Also, if you have any questions about the gameplay, build, itemization, that kind of stuff, or like why I did a certain path, anything like that, timestamp it, ask your question, and I'll uh, leave it in the comments. I'm going to be starting Raptors and going Raptors, Krugs, Red. This is going to give me really fast second spawn camps if nothing happens. And it also kind of aligns with what I want to do this game. It gives me a lot of flexibility to gank bot. If I definitely thought I was going to gank bot, I would probably um, just slightly change the clear and go Raptors, Red, Krugs. But that gives you a lot less versatility because you're like funneled into going into bot lane. Whereas if you go this way, I can always just E over the wall and that avoids any vision anyway. So it's not that bad. Also, we're versing Graves. Um, he's starting red by the looks of it. Really okay with me. Just keeping my eyes on the bot lane skirmish because, as we do know, they did lose the flash early. But as you can see, there's been zero gank opportunity there. And that's why, with doing this clear, even though I do like going bot here, doing this clear was more optimal because of the versatility. So now we're going to ping Graves' path out. He's likely on his walls right now, unless he invaded my top side. If he invaded my top side, I'm not too mad. Interesting, he actually started my top side to have done my walls. That means he's in these camps, and that also means that I can go and invade him. And I actually don't mind that. Okay, there he is. I believe he should have seen me, unless he had his camera panned wrong. Just drops out there. Absolutely terrible play by my... Yes. Nice. Red buff. And proccing the Dark Harvest. Dodge the Q. Now we do have Garen coming here. Beautiful. Fizz is also coming. I don't exactly know where Fizz is going to come from. Nice to see the fizz there. Okay. Interesting. Just ward this bush. Alright, here's the Garen. Okay. Sure. Probably could have gotten in on the Garen actually, but I'm more concerned about just getting out of here and getting this reset off. We have a really nice base here. Now, oh, hold on. What is this guy doing? I'm happy to take that kill because I actually want to reset, but I'm going to quickly grab the crab too. Now, I know that's not that beneficial, but I don't know the maths exactly because I don't play this champion all that often. I believe this extra bit of gold part of me helps me out my build path here. I would have just got it by the time I based actually, so I didn't need to do that in hindsight. And so like because I didn't need to, it would have been better to have not done it because Well, you know, opportunistically you can say I would have been here at this gank, which is possible, but more likely I would have been doing these two camps off spawn, which is uh getting them cycled through faster, which is definitely really good. Now what are you gonna do, Porky? An enemy has been slain. Killing spree. 
I don't know. What oh, grace is getting me mid. Damn, I should be in on the uh, ball with peeing that out. But anyway, so far so good. As you guys can see, we're reacting to all the things happening on the map. Very eyes on with all the plays and the lanes. And we're also trying to punish any mistakes that we do see. So like there, Corky recalling in a greedy position. Pop lane, the Garen trying to crash the wave. We're reacting to all these things and punishing it wherever we see it happen. Instead of just uh, head down full clearing. And this allows you to get a bunch of extra leads. And you just win more games, guys. That's what you have to do. Alright, we see Graves with this top gank. Um, I could have pinged this out, but I really didn't see the need to, in all honesty. Like a pretty clear cut and uh, easy to read thing. Alright, Fizz is 6. Fizz is probably roaming bots. I'm going to ping that, actually. I'm going to run straight top here because Riven's trying for the 2v1. Alright. And we're here. Don't need a W, but I can get it now. Yikes, my Ruben was uh, really trying to grief me. Boom, Ruben's able to crash the wave. I'm going to rock up here at these grubs, take them off spawn. And like at this point, guys, the game looks pretty much over. Now, it might still get hard. You know, one of my teammates could start inting. Uh, Fizz could start snowballing. He's playing pretty well. But for all intents and purposes, if you do this, you know, on the span of 100 games, you're going to win the vast majority of them from a start like this. Now, Graves really can only be on his topside camps, I believe. We're going to duck down, grab our two camps here, reset into our bot three camps. Yeah. Alright, not on the drag. Pull that through. I'm gonna ping my bot, because, yep, there we go, we do see Graves down there. Just, you know, when I look at the map, it's the only thing that really makes sense for him to do. Is, like, play towards bot side kills or potentially the drag. Oh, we cancelled Mordo there. Bit of a noob, bit of a noob. In a recall here. Teammates are starting to really snowball now too, which is great to see. And um you know I feel like I've been saying this pretty frequently in my videos guys, but your teammates being able to snowball and do things does a lot of the time depend on you know your impact on the game and what you kind of allow your teammates to do. Like on your first clear, you know pretty much anything that happens is not really in your control other than ganks. But after that you know, your inputs into the game will kind of dictate a lot about what your teammates can actually get off. Like this Riven's likely going to just one-shot Graves when she goes to, or when he goes to his red, part of me. Oh, he's going... What? Alright, interesting. The only fucked up part about this is I do not have Smite. So I need to actually play to kill Graves. Doesn't see me yet. Doesn't see me yet. It does see me now. Um. Okay. This is pinked. I do want to wrap around here, but because this is pinked, he knows exactly where I'll be. And also the uh, enemy bot lane of rotating back through to this. So instead, my best course of action is going to be to walk down here, look like I'm going back in my jungle, quickly grab my raptors, and then run straight to Graves Red. Now, if my champion didn't clear as fast as it does, I obviously wouldn't be able to do this raptor camp in between, and I would just run straight to these camps. And in all honesty, the raptor camp is not super important. I'm just doing it because I simply can do it. Um, and so it's better for me to do it for that reason. I think Graves is going to be here or here, starting on one of his camps, yep. There we go.
All right, big Draven ulti there. Love to see it. Now, what is the next play? I'm going to gank top, but I don't actually think it's the right play, although most of the time this is the right play. Although, because I'm so fed, I actually think I should have just run straight to the Red Dragon and killed Graves on that. Because likely that's where Graves is going. And this Garen's not worth a lot. I don't think we're going to be able to contest that drag. So what we'll actually do is we'll just do our two topside camps here. Let them get the drag. Really kind of sucks to let them get the drag, but it is what it is. So we'll allow that and then we'll play for grubs. So I don't want to go down bot side here and potentially throw my shot down. And, you know, whilst my bot lane should have been snowballing and kind of 1v9 in this game, they're finding a way to uh, make it actually pretty hard. And... You know how I said, like, this game looks like a win? I mean, it still looks like a win in my eyes, but I bet a lot of people, especially if you're playing at your native rank, will be looking at this game and thinking, this is kind of fucked up. And, uh, you know, in all honesty, if I was looking at this from my native elo, and this is a GM game right now, um, and it's like a pretty decent ADC on the Corky, really at this going, we're in for a bit of a fucking wild ride here. I was super confident that it'll be an easy win. There's the Graves. Looks like he wants to go down into my quadrant there. I am kind of keen to drop a skirmish here. No mana on the Fizz. Go, go. Thank you. Alright. Let's go into the jungle then. See if we can uh, pick this Graves before he gets out. Ah, oh, he's just gonna get out. Oh my. And bright side, I think that resets Graves Gold. Ah. Uh, bad. Oh, and the top shot down too. Damn, we are in for a wild ride. All right, all right, all right, all right. I need to get this reset off so I can continue the snowball. I'm just gonna pick up this last camp here. Reset. Now, first item going Nash's Tooth, then we're going Lich Bane, then we're gonna be going for the Rabadon's Death Cap if we are allowed to. I do think that that's going to be um, on the cards here. And for the itemization, we're gonna pick up this. Now, if I had less gold, say I had 900 gold, I probably would've gone Sork Shoes. Um, instead of the sheen, but with this item spike, I think it's a little bit better. And I'm also gonna get my uh, cash back kicking in sooner by going this way. I also don't particularly think I need sork shoes right this second, and I also don't think it's gonna allow me to snowball that much. Um, not more than hex tech alternator. So if I think about like my combo, I think hex tech alternator is what's gonna give me the most uh, extra damage consistently. Holy shit, boys. We are sprinting it down there. Alright, we need to figure out where the hell Graves is. I think he's going to be on his topside camps. Maybe he's sneaking that. No, he's not sneaking that. So, next play, we're going to see if we can look for this little uh, fizz. Easy to wave or something silly. Oh. Ah, baddie. Right now. No, no. Okay, Riven. There we go, son. Bit better. Finally, a double kill for the good guys. Now, I know my Krogs aren't up for ages, so I'm not even gonna go there. Gotta keep these things in mind, guys. I'm going straight into Graves camps now. And watching this mid lane play. It's a pretty free Fizz kill at some point in time, eventually. But. I'm gonna go bot. I wanna see if I can pick up this shutdown gold on Corky. Much more valuable. Not Graves. Not Graves, pardon me. Yes, is looking pretty chumped out. Ah. What the fuck? Yeah, that guy's actually playing that pretty good. Oh, yikes. Graves are.
Hold on, we got the Draven here. Oh. Kind of trolling. I am kind of trolling that fight. Why did I dash into his smoke screen? I play Graves, by the way. Well, everyone here knows that. This is big. Uh, this is big, but it sucks so badly because all the gold's going on to my noob teammates, and these three are the worst of my teammates. By a lot. But, um... <laughs> in all honesty, that was a really bad play by me. To die to that Graves there, I should not have died to the Graves. I could have definitely killed him without dying. Twenty-one to twenty-one. Damn. By the way, if you're one of my uh, Graves viewers, do keep tuned for the uh, new Graves videos I've got coming out in the very near future. I should have some videos that are quite interesting to you guys. In regards to build and stuff, there's the Graves. Your team has dun, 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 dun. Okay. out of this one. Wait, what is that? Corky build? Animal? Ruben's gonna clean this up, but I am unhappy. Holy shit, I got passed. Merktrad's good vs Graves. You're right, games. Ah, this game, though. Guy's just gonna die. We've managed to save him. Beautiful. Get over here. Uh, what's my not doing? No ribbon here. So I'm not super keen on this play. Fuck. Ah. Ah. Ribbon want to come to this? I thought he'd have R. No, he does have R. But he just didn't use it when I thought he would. I think he kind of entered that by walking around the corner. That's nice. <clears throat> okay, Faker! Not quite. Next time. Yeah, I mean, I knew the fight was going to be hard. No Riven there. Enemies just have so much gold right now. Graves is actually not even behind. He's like fully back in the game. He's been farming these two noobs. These guys are a duo queue or something. Why are they, uh... Are they say newbie. And all honesty, I haven't played too much low ranks this uh, split. I keep on finding myself like, I don't know, shocked or confused or like surprised when I'm playing these games. I want to contest, but I don't want to blow ult to contest.
There we go. Would have preferred it if that went a little bit differently. But again, I'm trying to be pretty cautious right now, guys, with the skirmishes until like I link up with Ribbon. This guy has a shit ton of our team's gold. Yeah, look, I'm not like super opposed to the uh crown buff. I am opposed to doing it without the uh, assistance of Riven in the area, especially no TP. Okay. Okay. Berserker's Greaves, bro. Actually, another lethality item, too. Has no chill. Maids of all perished. Just man ribbon standing once again. Coming a, uh, a reoccurring theme here, this game. Oh, I get why he's so fast. He has double move speed items so far, and now he's going collector. Well, something was weird there. Alt. Alt. Ribbon behind me. Okay. I just got fizzled out for free. Uh. Holy, okay, that's a bit of a fucking play. That was a bit of a play. We take those. Dodged a lot of shit there. Had to dodge a lot of shit there. We've also got some Dark Harvest stacks. Any ward on that? Ward, 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 ward. Okay. Go, son. Go, son. Doing it. All right, I think that's enough, brother. Oh, never mind. Back in. We dying to Thresh here? Very close to this Rabadon's power spike. Hey, yeah, speed running 20 deaths, yeah. What the fuck is going on? Maybe I should turn on the uh, chit chatter. Alright, Draven's doing some all nine maneuver here. Okay, he's going for it again. Go with these. Kind of feel like a uh, Zonya's not the worst idea in the world right now. With uh, how fed enemy team has got. Ah, shit, Riven. Uh, I can't go through, man. That's big for the enemies. right now yeah ah, gonna go come on i think i'm gonna go around here okay i'd love to have some vision on this
They can see me as the issue. Okay. That's Corky. Ah, oh, shit. Gonna ward or what? Uh, around. Um. Alright, well, next dragon's gonna be a huge issue. We need to try and figure out a way to end this game. Which is most likely gonna be off an ace. Maybe setting up the Baron would be a play? Yikes. We're in the deep. Look for a flank here if I can. Big. Oh, never mind, Shiji. Driven's too good. We have the ribbon come, 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 come. It's got to reset, apparently. by the red too much. Oh! Oh my god, I f***ing inted, bro. I just dragged that uh, Q back through properly. That was a really nice play. Anyway, it's still a nice play in all honesty. Ah, the uh, Q mechanics uh, definitely could have used a little bit of something. Big play by my team to uh, cash in on this. We all have Baron buffs. I'm Baroning up that wave quickly. I'm going to quickly clear this. And then I'm going to move on into... Actually going to go back to the skirmish. I have enough health to do something here. And it's pretty close, surprisingly. And it's never fucking mind. So cool. <laughs> Lost all our barons there. In the 4v5, oh sorry, 3v4 or whatever, no less, 4v3. Okay. Fucking yikes, I just missed my ult. Ah, shit, man, shit. It's got to be this. Walkie dead, though. Big, 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 big. That guy is basically their 1v9 character, so... Anytime we're taking that guy off the map, it's helping our team a lot. Although, don't love one for one. Graves there, top. Rose getting close to the 20 death power spike. It's fucking after it. Ah, Riven's dead. Man, I would really wish Riven could fight with me. Oh, he's alive. Hold on. Hard to control monkeys right now, man. Very hard to control. Although I'm not doing as much ape control as uh, I probably could be. Got a fucking Garen running at me. Woohoo. What are my teammates gonna be doing? Is the question. I hit that ward, bro? Or what?
Okay, that's got to be huge. This blue is up, so... No, it's not. Oh, I was hoping it would be. I thought it would be. They didn't have a blue buff. Ah, ha, ha, we're fucking trolling, man. I needed to probably W before I Zonyas, maybe? I don't know. I kind of feel like I didn't have time, though. Alright, we got the dragon. Draven's doing things. Amza. Beautiful. Maybe we can uh, take some mid stuff? What now, what now, what now? He thinks illegal. I think we do this, yeah. I think this is the last fight of the game. Am I Draven to go get the red buff, maybe? Hopefully they can wait for me to be alive, though, at least. That'd be kind of cool. I think they shouldn't be able to kill it in time. Yeah, nice. All right, we're on. They want this. Yep, 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 yep. Garen is just spawning now. Okay, Graves just nicked that. Big. Got the ult off. Perfect timing. They're in here. That's fine. This is still fine. Slabs on yours. Okay, let's make sure we grab this little uh, present over here. It was a nicely timed ult by me. Right on the Garen silence. Alright, where the hell is Graves though? Nice, we saw him there, so we don't have to worry about smiting. They have the smite for the fight. Okay, they know we're here. Ooh. Potentially really big ribbon engage there. Yeah, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Only top gap, no JG gap, interestingly enough. Alright guys, if you are someone who's uh, interested in coaching, you've watched all this way, then uh, check out the coaching at coachmigo.com. Highly recommend it for people who are really tryharding to improve. Basically, it's a monthly subscription. You can join my coaching community, submit your games for review, also be in 24-7 contact with me for coaching and other people who are also trying to improve. So you also get that community aspect that I think is uh, something that's really big for a lot of league players. You know, the climb can be lonely and the improvement journey can also be very lonely. As for the ELO of this game, we're playing in about mid-gold ELO. This is an old account, um, hasn't been played on in a long time. These are the damage charts. Um, as you can see, we're kind of off the Shazam with the damage here. Um, yeah, really the Riven and Echo show. Draven's doing a decent amount of damage too, but a lot of inting for this damage. Uh, kind of inclined to report that guy for intentionally feeding, but who knows? Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Again, if you like the content, make sure to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Until next time, take care, good luck on the rift, and peace out.